All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode. So first off, I just want to uh, send out a huge apology to uh, all of my fans and viewers because of my last video, there was like a second of uh, profanity in there that some of you guys caught, some of you didn't. And I edited that right out as soon as I realized it was in there. But uh, I've been burning the candles at both ends, work fishing really hard, trying to get out and film fish as well, but uh, just ha haven't really been able to put anything great together. And since it takes me like say three to like five hours to edit some videos and when I'm extremely exhausted, say after spending 10 or 12 hours on the water, sometimes even like smacking myself to keep myself awake, uh, um, you know, I will make mistakes and miss little things while editing videos and in my last video um, That's why there was that just that little bit of profanity in there You know because I was telling a story that uh, something happened that was really irritating So uh, again, I apologize for that and I hope you can hear me now the wind is all of a sudden gusting But uh, it's supposed to actually get calmer and we're gonna try and get out in the breakwater 12 and uh, get on some fluke but before we head to the water, I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys about Bad Fish, which is basically a monthly subscription box. And this, I would say, is probably like one of like three different subscription boxes that I've tried now. And this is the first one that I feel is tweaked just right for like a Northeast saltwater angler. So let's bust it open and uh, I'll give you guys a look at what we got here. So the first lure is the 24-7 Lures Fish Stick which is a nice looking little pencil, which should be perfect for stripers on the north or south side, and also bluefish. And the next plug is the Bomber Magnum Long A, which should be perfect for hitting the surf for stripers with, uh, especially at night. I feel like this could be a major player. And then next we got a Bomber Badonkadonk, which uh, is a great like inshore uh, light tackle type uh, top order plug and next then we have is the savage gear swim squid which i rigged up with the mustad ultra point jig heads that also all came in the box and uh, believe it or not i've already fished with them a couple nights in a row and did really well fishing around some docks catching some stripers like 25 to 28 inches which is pretty cool and then we also have the northeast jig and co ripper shads which uh, should be perfect when fishing muddy or discolored water for striped bass or bluefish, maybe even some weak fish, because I know weak fish love that pink color. Next, we have the Mustad Sabiki rig, which of course will be perfect for maybe when we get some mackerels in uh, the Montauk water, we can use this little Sabiki rig to catch some of those. And then we have the Adia inline circle hooks, which should be perfect for live lining pogies, bunker, porgies, or live mackerel for striped bass and bluefish. And then last but not least, bad fish threw in this pretty cool little gator or buff, which will keep us safe out there on the water or at the local grocery store. And to be honest, wearing a buff like this has been the norm for the last like three months, kind of like putting on my socks. So it's pretty cool they threw it in there. And if you guys liked what was in the box, I'll put a little link down in the description so you can check them out and a code to save you $15 off your first box. So I'm gonna finish gearing up now and probably give it like an hour or so for the wind to die down and the fog to burn off. And then we're gonna get out there. So I'll see you guys out in the water in a little bit. All right, well, we are out here. And uh, it's a little after 12 o'clock right now. And we had to wait about an hour and a half for really thick fog to finally clear out of here. It was probably only about like 30, 50 yard visibility. And uh, the wind is just about right. If it was any bit more, we probably would have held off a little bit longer as well. But uh, I think as the day progresses, it's supposed to get even calmer. And uh, right now I think we're gonna have the last like hour or so of the incoming. And then we're gonna have uh, pretty much the entire outgoing to uh, find some flatties. So we're heading pretty far out to about like 45, 50 feet of water, maybe 60, 70 uh, we, we'll venture into. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if there's any fluke out there. And uh, it's turning out to be a nice day. So we can already check that box. And now we just gotta put some fish in the cooler. In New York waters, we're allowed three fluke at 19 inches for a limit. So it'd be pretty cool to see if we can accomplish that. All right, well, it just took us about 20 minutes to get out here to our numbers. And we're gonna start off fishing with this hand-tied bucktail that was made by a subscriber named Steve. So huge shout out to Steve. And I hope we can uh, catch our first few fluke on it. And before we drop down, I'm gonna just lather some liquid mayhem on this little DOA soft minnow that's uh, 
serving as a trailer. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. It's just gonna give it a little tail action. And we're gonna rub this in there. You know, this will just uh, give any fluke or any fish that grabs this, uh, you know, a little extra scent and flavor. So they'll hopefully hold on to it a little bit longer. And uh, we're in 50 feet of water, so we're gonna drop it down. This is a one ounce bucktail that we're using. So not too heavy, but as you can see, just in like the last 20 minutes, it's gotten a lot calmer and this wind's kind of flopped out a lot more. So it's pretty nice out here. It's like a perfect fluking day, if you ask me. Oh, just lost the fish right there. Ate it on the drop. Something small, but it was a fish. Yo, no way, we've got a whole pot of bunker right behind me. Wonder if there's anything underneath it. Could be some big blues or a couple bass. Oh, I think that was just a bumping into bunker. Yep, we got a scale on there. Look at that, a nice big pot of bait. It's getting balled up, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot on it. I see another pot of bait out there too, so there's quite a bit of bunker here. Huh, maybe something will find it pretty soon. Actually, I think I just saw a splash out there on that pod. What I'm trying to kind of do is like a snag and drop, and that'll be the real way to find out if there's any, you know, bluefish or bass in this area. So I just snagged one. I'm gonna let them swim around for a little bit, see if anything comes up and nails them right away. Hmm. All right, well, it was worth a shot. And since we've got the optimal time for fluking right now, I don't wanna waste it trying to uh, catch whatever's you know, on this bunker. There could be bluefish this big, or there could be you know, gators, but there's not a whole lot of them. You know, if there were, then they would be totally blasting through this. But and we're back on our numbers right here, so we're just gonna drop right back down. Got the Coast Guard coming up. How's it going? When was the last time you reported by the Coast Guard? Um, is that by kayak or by boat? By so, kayak. I don't know, last year? So just keep this on you whenever you're on the kayak. If we try to board you again, you can just show us that. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. They're just, you know, taking down some paperwork and getting my information. But I guess what we'll do is go up once more in the deeper water and do another drift. And if we don't hook up on a fluke, then I'm thinking we'll head up into some shallow water, like 15, 20, 25 feet. There's one. Oh, oh, I lost him. What? Are you serious, dude? Oh, finally, a nice bite out here in the deep. Yeah, and that was a fluke. Some nice teeth marks on this Zoom Super Fluke. And this hook is razor sharp. I just have a tendency to do that get a good hook set on nice fish with a razor sharp hook and still lose them. But uh, you know what, I guess we gotta do that drift again. There was a fluke. There's one. Didn't hit hard, but he's got some weight. That's a little shorty. There we go. And you know what? I don't think they're eating too well. And that's probably why we lost that last one because that one was hooked right on the bottom side of the face. But all right, that's a start though. Only took us a couple hours. So we've been fishing hard and not really doing a whole lot.
There's one. Sea Robin. Something else took the tail off of my fluke, so I gotta put on another one anyway. You know what? Let's try a gulp grub on the back of this bucktail. Just gonna trim it a little bit. Oh yeah, and that looks really juicy. Let's drop it down. All right, well, unfortunately, no other fish out in the deeper water and the wind really cranked up. So we came closer to shore. I'm in about 17 feet of water now and we're gonna try drifting out into about like 25. And I'm seeing some bait on the screen, so it's looking pretty promising. And uh, it's a little after four o'clock now, so it's getting later in the afternoon and it's blowing like almost 15 probably. And it wasn't supposed to, it's supposed to be blowing like five to 10 really. But uh, that's Montauk weather for you, so what are you gonna do? So we're gonna try some shallower water. Let's drop the bucky down there and uh, see if we can do any better. Got a much better drift right in here. Way out there, we were drifting almost two and a half miles an hour. Right in here, we got a mile and a half. So not too bad. To get way up here, I had to fight the tide and wind for probably about like 40 minutes. It was ripping that much. There's one. Ah, dang bird. Oh, we got a grunter. There's one. Feels like a fluky. Oh yeah, definitely a fluky. Yeah, another little guy though. That one we actually caught in the mouth. We're getting somewhere, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, come on. Little porgy, good uh, large striped bass size. That's a good thump. That feels like a nice fluke too. Oh, come on, stay hooked. Be a keeper, come on. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, it's not a keeper. Been catching such small fish all day, it felt like one. Thumped it hard enough. Let's see how long he is. 16 and a half inches. See ya. There's a nice one. Might be a keeper. Another close one. Nah, he's probably gonna be a little short. Yeah, 17, getting a little bigger. And I had to go up and make another drift. And uh, since the gulp kept slipping down the hook, I switched back to his little zoom super fluke. I was just subtly jigging out along the bottom and that guy nailed it. Putting some more of this liquid mayhem on there. I think it helps. That fish held onto this a really long, probably for at least like two seconds before I really nailed him. All right, unfortunately nothing else on for the rest of this drift. So we're gonna go back up and do one more kind of over that same spot where we had our last fluke. And uh, if we don't get a keeper that, or anything nice, then we're probably just gonna head on out of here. All right, will this be the drift? Oh, there's one. That feels a little bit nicer. 
Gonna be borderline. Ah, another shorty. Ooh, that's a good bite. Oh, that's a nice one. Come on, please be a keeper. Come on. Ah, it's probably not a keeper. Hit like a nice fish. Oh, it might be close. We'll net him anyway. Dang it. No, definitely another shorty. And I'm running out of time. Oh, there he goes. So I think uh, I might have to call it quits, unfortunately. Try one more drop right here where we are. Another one. That one nailed it too. This is probably gonna be something different. Striper, a bluefish, or oh, a sea bass. Heck yeah. And it might be a keeper too. Would have liked to get some more of these throughout the day. Fifteen inches, unfortunately, but I guess that's a good way to end it. All right, well, we are back home, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We didn't get on uh, anything crazy, but we did get out there and catch fish. We gave it our all. So, if you just enjoyed this video a little bit, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to keep up to date. And a couple days ago, I got out and did something similar, and we caught pretty much about the same amount of fish and same size, nothing too crazy. So um, I actually didn't make that video, but uh, since I have no other videos on the back burner, I am gonna upload this one. So hopefully it attracts your attention for uh, a few minutes or uh, maybe the entire video, but uh, thanks for watching. I'll put all my tackling equipment and my kayak rig down in the description below. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.